So I want to try something a little different with my YouTube lighting setup for this video. My go-to lighting setup for all of my talking heads has always been this one daylight balance key light with some sort of like side light behind me. But now in this video, we have a couple of different colors thanks to the Colbor CL60R, which are RGB lights that help me dial in the specific color and the look that I want. So let's start off with all the lights off. Oh, this is kind of spooky. It's very, very dark. So what we're going to work on first is going to be that fill light and then move on to the key light and then move on to the background light to add some sort of like interesting atmosphere, I don't know, to the background. Okay, so we're first going to work on this light right here. It's plugged in. I'm going to turn it on. We got barn doors on here just so that it controls the spill. I don't need it spilling everywhere. So I'm just going to have it here. This light right now is not doing much good on my face right now because it's bright white and it's way overexposed. So now my face is like super blown out right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Cobor Studio app. And what you can do is you go to the eyedropper tool down here and then you can actually open up the camera and you can pick whatever color from the light source that you want. So I'm going to go up to this neon sign right here and I'm going to pick a orange hue like this. This is way too bright, right? Like this is way too bright. So I'm going to bring the intensity down to 1%. 1%. I'm going to stick with 1% because it's so close to my face. I just want a little hint of ambient fill. I might even want a lighter yellow like that. I don't want it to be blasting it on my face, so I don't want it to be super saturated. I don't want it to be super intense either. This light right here is going to be situated here. I don't want this light to be top down like this because this light is not top down. And so if the light is coming and hitting the top of my head, it doesn't make any sense. And that's sort of the key to enhancing whatever is already naturally around you. And for me, when I'm adding in lights like this, I always try to make it look as natural to the scene as possible. So once I'm happy with that light, it looks good where it's at, I'm gonna move on to the key light. Key light right now is the 60R. This one we're gonna to set to green because I just like the color contrast of green and orange. And this one is gonna be on a softbox, diffused, and has an egg crate on it or a honeycomb grid on it so that it concentrates all that light onto just me. And let's turn on this key light right here. So by default, it's gonna be a white light. I don't want that. Go back to the Cool app. And down here, I'm gonna to go to color and then click onto this green right here. Like this might look cool. Like this color might look cool. Um, for me, it's a little bit too saturated. Like I don't, there's no reason why it needs to be this green for a talking head for YouTube. So I'm gonna bring down the saturation. Something a bit more pale. Is it looking too blue? I need a director's monitor. Okay, now we're talking. I'm gonna turn off the office light real quick. Cool, uh, right now it's a little dark, so we're going to take it up. False colors right now, I'm looking at it. This pink part right here on my forehead on the false colors is 60 IRE, which is sort of like where I want the brightest part of my face to be, 60 IRE. Okay, looking good. I'm gonna trust false colors here. Hope it's not gonna screw me. So now once I've got those settings down, I'm pretty happy with how this light is looking right now. It's this like pale green color. It's not super saturated, but it sort of still gives that hint of greenness on my face, but it's not like disgusting like super saturated, like green color. Uh, this light I'm noticing with the light at 1% brightness is not doing too much. So I'm actually gonna just bump up the brightness of the light a little bit. Go back to three, let's go back to, let's do 3% here. Cause I think that's a really good middle ground that kind of fills in a little bit more. So now you can get a little bit more of that enhanced feel from this. Cool, I'm gonna leave that, these two lights right here, the way it is. The last little thing that I want to do is add a little bit more light to this background portion of the frame here. There's a little tube lights thing. Uh, and then I'm just going to turn it on. Okay, and then it's gonna be this like blue greenish color. So originally I had it sort of sitting up here and that's way too bright. So instead of putting it up here or putting it like in the shot or whatever, since it's white closet space here, leave it off screen and just literally bounce it into my closet. And now it sort of gives you that, I don't know, motivation of where this green key light might be coming from. So now as you can see, that tube light is doing a lot of work for lighting up that background area. It could be a little bit less bright. It could be a little bit dimmer um, in my opinion, but it is what it is. I can't really change too much of it. I'm actually gonna see if I can uh, tape off the light in the background right here with gaff tape. Uh, that might be a little bit too much, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna check my director's monitor. Yeah, it looks a little better. That's pretty good, I'll leave it right there. Just by simply adding in gaff tape, I've been able to control the light a little bit more so that it's not spilling everywhere. Here's like a before, and then here's after what this looks like. Cool, so I'm happy with all three lights and how they are positioned and how bright they are, the colors and everything. And once I have all those lights dialed in, it's time to go over the camera settings, specifically the white balance. Now white balance is very subjective. You can, it's, it's really up to you to decide whatever white balance you wanna set it to. I like to just set up my lights and just kinda like play around with the white balance and just slide it back and forth to 2700 and to 6500 Kelvin and just play around to see what sort of makes the image pop 
for me. And here's what the image looks like at 2700 Kelvin. And here's what the image would look like at 6500 Kelvin. That doesn't look good either. So I set my white balance to 4650 Kelvin, which is a good middle ground between the orange and this green color for my key light. And on my Canon C70, I'm using the Canon 1635 with the speed booster at 16 millimeters at f2.0 and also at ISO 800. All right, and that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments. If you liked this video, hit the like button and hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Until the next one, my name is Alex Young and I'll see you later, bye.